All right, so here we have Bitcoin on Bybit on the one hour. By the way, it is September. Now, September usually is a red month. I want to say that right off the bat. Um, it's not every time, but usually it is. Uh, maybe it's a self-fulfilling prophecy at this point. Um, but usually it's a red month. So definitely uh, be careful this month. Um, but we'll find out. You know, I think it was like 9 out of 13 uh, Septembers were red. You know, a lot of people would be like, well, it's, you know, midterms, stuff like that. But, you know, there was midterms before and it was still red. Um, so just be careful this month. Um, but we'll find out. Uh, so we are still in a range. Um, as we were talking about, you know, coming back down here, if these fanned out, these moving averages... That we would probably break the bottom of the range. They did not fan out. So we had another bounce. Pop back up. We are currently above the moving averages. Uh, resting on the 100 right now. We'll find out whether we can hold that. We kind of have some uh, high wicks here. So you know, it kind of looks like a reversal candle. So basically if we fall back below the 21. And the POC point of control. On the VPVR here to your right. Which measures horizontal volume. At a certain price level uh, I would expect us to come back down to the bottom of the range now your RSI is pretty neutral right now you are above the signal line in the upper neutral zone um, so we need to stay above 19.939 in order to stay above that signal line uh, MACD printing some uh, dark green bars on the histogram uh, which your MACD is a momentum oscillator by the way it judges bullish and bearish momentum Fresh cross of the signal line, working your way up to the zero line. You need to get back above 2268 in order to cross that zero line. If you do cross that zero line, I would expect you to come up to the top of the range. Now, your 200 is at the top of the range at this point. So I would expect high level of resistance right here, probably a, another rejection. Um, BBWP is above its moving average, which measures volatility. Uh, and working its way up through the upper zone so the volatility has begun and we'll find out whether we come to the top of the range or if we break these moving averages in the point of control and come back down to the bottom now if if we keep hitting this bottom of this range it's going to become weaker so if we cross that signal line get into the bearish control zone with your RSI and cross this signal line which we would have to get back below 19,517 Oh, okay, so that's right at the bottom of the range. Um, so if we cross that signal line to the downside of the MACD, at, that's when at the same time we're going to break this range. So if that happens, the next stop is 18K. I don't think that would hold. I honestly think we would go to 16 if we break the bottom of this range because your MACD is going to cross that signal line. I would expect a bounce at about 18,800. But that would also imply that we get into the bearish control zone at the same time. So that's not going to look good. You know, that's basically the bearish case. The bullish case is that we break the 200. Uh, let's check the stochastic right now. Bollinger Bands uh, getting rejected from the top band right now, which is pretty common. Okay, so your stochastic is in overbought right now. Looks like it's curling down, crossing its signal line. If we enter back into the uh, into the zone, into the stochastic zone, this would be the bullish control zone, actually. I would expect us to come down at least to this uh, middle band at 19, well, basically 19.930. Honestly, I think we'd come to the bottom of the band and the bottom of that range. Um, so, yeah, basically that stochastic is kind of, telling us we're a little extended right now um, so yeah if we cross the moving average to the downside at 19.930 um, I would expect us to come back down to the bottom of the range now what happens then is going to decide a lot um, yeah I mean just pay attention to this range right now whichever way we break is going to mean a lot at this point uh, let's move on to ethereum by the way, if you guys are liking this video so far, like and subscribe to the channel. Check out the links in the description below, one being the Discord. A lot of good conversation about trading, investing, and crypto in there. Um, sometimes we talk about the moves. 
a lot of times we talk about the moves before I can even get these videos out. We stay ahead of the curve in the Discord. So here on Ethereum, once again, touching our purple zone, getting rejected from the top. Uh, your 21 is trying to cross your 200. It didn't bounce off your 50. If these can cross and fan out at the same time as breaking this last high, 1620, I would expect this to come up to 1700. That would also imply that we get into the bullish control zone on the RSI, MACD, pretty fresh cross to the upside of the zero line and the signal line and printing some dark green bars on the histogram. Ethereum looks pretty good right now, actually. Um, but a lot of that's going to depend on what Bitcoin does, too. Uh, you know, with the merge and all that coming up, Ethereum's been to, doing pretty good. Uh, but yeah, if, if Bitcoin shits the bed, you know, Ethereum's probably going to follow. So, <clears throat> RSI is in the neutral median zone above its signal line, working its way up to the bullish control zone. BBWP is in the upper zone above its moving average, so the volatility has started. See, Ethereum's trying to get up right now, but, uh, you know, Bitcoin might have some trouble. So, if Bitcoin crosses below its moving average, I would expect Ethereum to at least test the bottom of this uh, purple zone right here at 1560. Yeah, 1560 where your 21 and your 50 and your 200 is. This is going to be major support. So if you break that, I would expect a small bounce at 1540, but ultimately I think we would come back down to 1500. Basically where right by this last low. Yeah. Uh, bearish case is that we break this last low at 15, basically 1500. If we break 1500, I would expect us to come back down to 1420 pretty quickly bounces along the way of course probably you know one at uh 1450 but ultimately i think we would come back down to 1420 so you know pretty short update today uh not a lot has changed we're still waiting on bitcoin to break the range uh let's move on to solana solana's having a little trouble here uh barely got out of the bearish control zone but you are in the upper neutral median zone Above your signal line, your signal line's coming in right at the top of your bearish control zone, so that will be support. So will your neutral median line. MACD, fresh cross to the upside of the signal line. Positive momentum is increasing on the histogram. BBWP is above its moving average in the upper zone. So volatility has begun. Uh, it seems like you're getting rejected from the 100 right now. So we'll find out whether we can hold this purple zone. If we break the purple zone at $31, you know, I would expect a, you know, bounce at the bottom of this range. I would expect a bounce at 3013. If we break that, that's not going to look good because that would mean Bitcoin also broke the bottom of its range. And I would expect Solana to come back down to 2850. Break 2850, next stop is $26. So if we can break the 200 at 32, basically 3250. I would expect a sharp move up to the $35 mark, uh, basically where this purple zone is right here. So your POC point of control is right above us, you know, so between that and the 100, that had a high level of resistance. So I'm not surprised that we're having some trouble getting above there. Like I said, if we can break this purple zone, though, we'll probably come up to the 3260 level where this uh, 200 is. Let's check the stochastic on Solana actually we didn't check the stoke on Ethereum so your stoke on Ethereum still in the overbought zone it could stay in here for a while um, so we'll find it we'll find out a lot of this is like I said is gonna depend on what Bitcoin does right now Solana okay so Solana like I said is having a little trouble you were in overbought now you've entered back into the bullish control zone both your uh, stoke line and your signal line are both pointed to the downside so basically, like I said, if you break, you know, that 21, if you break that 21 and the bottom of this purple zone at 3110, you know, I expect you to come back down to the bottom of the range at $30. And then if you break that, you know, take it level by level. So right now we're waiting on Bitcoin, waiting on Bitcoin to break the range. Uh, I think it's less likely that we break the top of the range. And if we do come back down to the bottom, 
be careful and watch your MACD signal line because if you cross that I think we break the bottom of the range so definitely watch the range watch your momentum when you are on either side of the range and that will increase the probabilities in your favor for a trade so once again if you guys like this video like and subscribe to the channel check out the links in the description below join the discord everyone have a great morning great afternoon great evening and i will see you tomorrow Thank you.